There are a few ways of uh, building, making a window. There's even a plugin from March uh, from Niels on how to make, uh, on how to automate the window process. But one easy way is to bring a cube for our wall. Add loop, both sides, shift click, and bridge. Then what we can do, so this is what we're about to make, by the way. Um, we can select the inside polygon, press L, and we can copy them, Control C, select an empty layer, Control V. And then we can do a simple thicken. like this. So to add a bit of detail reality you can uh, move this stream a uh, hair forward even up and down because that will cast a hair of shadows. It will just make it look better. Now what we can do is select those two L and pay attention here will go B but in the B we're going to use a profile here. So there's a way for zooming, I think it's here. So let's say I start with this one and I need more, so maybe 16. And now if you move the blue arrow slowly, you don't want to pass. It's better to zoom in a bit. Yeah, something like this. I passed it again. Here we go. Voila. So we could change very quick and see the difference. So this is an amazing tool, but the problem with this, I think I, I redid it, it's doing it here and not here. Um, it's that next time you'll go B, this is still there. So every time I use it, I go B again, I turn it off and I make sure to click here. Uh, otherwise it's just a nightmare. Uh, you're going to forget about it. And uh, one little thing, it's just a small detail that you could do, is go M, name it, and in the shader you could actually uh, give it rounded edges. So it'll look even better. So here you could say 0.5. I forgot how big I model it. Something like this. So when you go render, you get that very nice uh, window trim, uh, rounded edges on the trim. So it's pretty neat because if you had to do this by hand, it will take you a while. Voila.